Hey there, uh, Redtail right here. Just wanted to show you guys another um, gear slut review, pardon my French, of some of the flashlights that I like to carry. Um, at least one or two of them on me on a daily basis. And if not the two, then at least backup batteries for sure and backup parts. But I'm gonna try to make this video a super quick review again too. And um, I'm going to point out some of the features that I really do like about all of these flashlights. Um, the first one being the MTE C3-907. The second one is a Phoenix LD20. That's the one in the middle. The one in the end that I just ended up actually receiving for a... Uh, for a from a gift, for a gift. I just received it as a gift. There you go. Is the MTE MC G33 XM Limited. Um, also, if you look at it too, this one is the MC G33 squared, you might call that. Um, bunch of different reasons that I carry a flashlight um, I'm not gonna get into all that if you're a flashlight guy or girl or realize the anybody who realizes the power of being able to light dark places um, and what kind of power that gives you then you'll uh, hopefully appreciate this video um, the first flashlight you know make this is, is super quick and is uh, super quick and short as possible. This one again is the MTE C3-907. Um, cell phone camera is really not wanting to focus. Sorry. There we go. Um, this does have a really nice glow-in-the-dark green button. It is rated for... I'm not sure. I won't get into the exact technical specifications of all of these flashlights but um, normally according to their website MTE the C3-907 8 mode or single mode 170 lumen flashlight is rated for a high power mode with maximum output of 170 lumens um, so for a small pocket flashlight this is a really, really, really nice flashlight. Um, I really do like it. Normally, this would be the first and primary um, flashlight that I would carry. Again, it does have the glow-in-the-dark green back button. And um, I can't remember for the life of me right now what you call these or the, uh, the other kind of pointy ends at the, the edge of the flashlight. Um, gougers yeah it's probably not right and please don't correct me if I'm wrong but um, the sharp pointy ends at the end of the flashlight for the the tactical applications of flashlights um, either way all these flashlights have that and so this is the first and like I said normally this would be the flashlight that I carry um, on a daily basis uh, this is the holster that will go in. I made this for uh, myself out of um, some some belt webbing. Extra large belt that I got that I cut down to my own size and then I stitched it, punched it with leather punch and stitched it with paracord. Melted the ends and formed it myself. This is my little uh, um, pocket organizer, if you will. But setting that back off the side. Flashlight number one down. Flashlight number two. This is the Phoenix LD20. The Phoenix LD20 is a really, really, really good buy. Um, it's got a lot of really nice features. It is long and a slim line. Again, I'm not going to break down every single one of the measurements for every one of these flashlights, but these are some of my favorites that I've carried for a long time. And I'm going to give you uh, just the short and the gist of it. It's got a nice, deep, for the most part, pretty deep pocket clip. Um, it does have the warning on the front. And again, the same kind of beveling or the 
gougers on both the tail cap and the fore end, the actual head of the flashlight. Um, this one, as far as lumen is rated, and of course go on and, and check all these specs out, but this one on their website is rated for a whole whopping 205 max lumen output. Um, and that being, let's just see here, turbo and strobe mode being at 180 lumens and max uh, estimated 2 hours and 16 minute run, run, run time. Um, but a max output right next to their advertisement of 205 max lumens. Um, I do like this flashlight. This flashlight, again, is amazing. It's streamlined. It'll fit in your back pocket. You won't have to, uh, you won't have to really think about carrying this flashlight. I'm a, I'm a actually kind of taller and, and thinner kind of a guy, if you haven't been able to tell already. And I can wear this right next to my wallet. My wallet doesn't poke out. There's not an extra gap presented there. There is um, ample opportunities for other kinds of pants to carry this in all different kinds of pockets and so on and so forth. The one thing I wish it did have is the light up or glow in the dark tail cap um, end switch. So you could see a little bit better if it was buried in your pocket or if it was um, you know, just really dark out. Um, this one has the operation mode as opposed to this one. Um, all these light modes are set up full bright, strobe, 50%, 10% is usually how these um, one action flashlights go. The next one being a slower strobe. And then we have an even slower strobe. Then we have the SOS mode. And then a flickering strobe mode, high intensity strobe mode. And then back to full brightness. Um, whereas the first flashlight being the MTE um, C3 907, this Phoenix, you actually have to twist the head of the flashlight to change modes. Just a half twist about does it, but. There's a bunch of modes this says too, you can look into that. But my newest pride and joy, the one we've all been waiting for, and we might as well just turn on both flashlights to illuminate this flashlight, is the most awesome and epic flashlight that I have ever had the experience and pleasure of encountering. This right here is the, again, watching the first part of this video, and we're already at 8 minutes, so I'll shorten it up, is the MTE. MC G33 squared or XM limited. This has uh, quite a bit more of an extended head than the, than the Streamline Phoenix LD20. Um, the body down at the handle is a little bit, little bit more robust than the, the, the LD20, but you can really see the huge size compar size comparisons between the actual head of the flashlight. Um, it flares out quite a bit. There's heat sink rings. Um, there's really nice stippling or grooving all along. There's uh, a really nice little, on this flashlight, you can kind of see that is a squared off kind of anti-roll or non-roll um, machining on the end. It also provides a nice grip if you carry your flashlight like this. A uh, bunch of other stuff. This one has no grooves on the back, so it's a super easy tail cap switch to engage. A quick on and off, and there's none of the um, the disadvantages of trying to get your thumb in a, in a tight place or injured, trying to get your thumb into the grooves, something like this. This is a nice, easy open tail cap, and um, I guess on to the, the full meat and potatoes of this flashlight. Again, um, I, I did receive this flashlight as a gift. And this is the limited edition, which is also the dash squared ver version, or whatever you might want to call it. But upon checkout, you can purchase this flashlight from um, Greg McGee, I believe, or mteflashlights.com. Um, the, with the additional option of getting the extra 200 lumens of brightness. So this one is rated for the 1200 lumens. Um, it does have really, really, really nice... Um, 
high, super high intensity bright flashlight. I guess I'll kind of light it up for you guys and I'll turn off this light. But um, you probably won't be able to see this. I mean, it's hot instantly right off the face of this flashlight. But 1200 blazing lumens. Um, they just came up with a, another new flashlight too called the Night Sword or, or something kind of like that. But yeah, um, really love this flashlight. Again, 1200 lumens, super bright, really, really, really nice deal um, for what it is um, compared to some of the other flashlight manufacturers or makers out there. I, I strongly and in, more than strongly encourage, but um, I recommend um, MTE flashlights. Um, hopefully you guys can see these again here. One of the awesomest options that I really think when you do get one of their one of their flashlights is comes in a nice box. I'm try to angle the light off here. So here's the box, high powered LED flashlight. Um, strong waterproofing, open com open country camping, outdoor climbing, Cree LED light, and then the actual sticker on it says the MC-G33 squared XM Limited Cree XML diode turns brightness at 1200 lumens blah blah, blah. Um, pause this video and you can read that if you want there's his website gregmcgeeengineering.com um, really love these flashlights really really well made um, and I'm gonna cut this video off right now here by just saying that um, a really really cool feature that I do like that I, I want to just throw in here is that with this flashlight that I just received um, you also get um, at least I got the rechargeable batteries and these are the lithium ion Tenergy Let's see if you can see that there we go Tenergy 2600 lithium ion 3.7 volt protected batteries um, recharger and the cable more than worth it extra added feature get a solar panel for the backpack recharge the flashlight it's gonna be quite an epic winter um, thanks for watching um, hope you guys enjoy this if you have any questions post a comment and I'll try to respond or make additional videos um, have a great night